His presentation shows some of the accomplishments of a typical student in statistics. Jean Dolbeck is a French student in AgroCampus West from Rennes in France. In Malaysia, he has done a six month internship with CIRAD and University Putra Malaysia under the supervision of Dr. Roda. His mission was to perform some statistical analysis in different subjects, all related to biomass economics. He has been working in the Center of Excellency on Biomass Valorization with Candice Enyanti, two Malaysian PhD students. The internship allows such a non-native English speaker to practice English with an international team. The students benefit from mixing their different backgrounds. This work started with a glance at biomass at a worldwide level. Using data from Dr. Roda Sirad, I began by analyzing wood markets and construction material markets. The data was complemented with time series from FAO STAT and USGS. These time series account from several countries' production from 1961 to 2013. I used factor analysis to analyze this dataset. I realized the PCA or principal component analysis. This is the most appropriate choice since there are only quantitative values. When there are different types of categories, such as import or export values, for all the countries and resources, then the MFA could be better. MFA stands for Multiple Factor Analysis. Here the PCA is very accurate and highlights a few theoretical facts about urban metabolism. Countries with recent construction trends in central business district or cit of cities clearly consume high quantity of iron, steel and cement. Besides, interesting patterns appear in developing countries. These patterns may come from the wood consumption by slums. In all cases, iron and steel plywood consumption seem to be determined by practice and national habits. Typical way concrete formworks are made with iron or wood plays a major role. During my internship, I also had to help the PhD students for various tasks in the laboratory. Here is the analysis I did using outputs from Yanti ongoing PhD work. In a nutshell, the use of different statistic methodology independently confirms initial results by Yanti. It also highlights a few new facts. Among them, it appears that Singaporean oil palm companies have become the major stakeholder of agribusiness in Southeast Asia. My next task had to do with the phenomenon of haze, which has become a plague in Indonesia, in Singapore, and in Malaysia. Here is a factor analysis of wildfire in Sumatra. The data have been collected and processed by a CIRAD and UPM team, supervised by Dr. Roda. In the case of simultaneous process of quantitative and qualitative data, as it is the case here, the FAMD methodology is best suited. FAMD stands for Multiple Factor Analysis for Mixed Data. A cluster analysis on the outputs from the FAMD gives outstanding results. The hotspot detected by the NASA and the according fires constitute 10 clusters and 3 groups. The first group of fires is statistically closely linked to the villages or the rural population on their agricultural small holdings. A second group of fires is statistically closely linked to the industrial plantation such as acacia, oil pine, rubber trees, etc. The third group of fires is statistically way too uncertain to conclude of the probable origin of fires. With the result of this analysis, the team can really estimate CO2 emission from different kinds of fires. The last kind of study that I did during my internship is on the transport cost of biomass. Here, I help Candice in her modeling work of transport cost studies. 
Having a good math background, I was able to help Candice delve into advanced modeling without to go to the details. Here, it is about non-linear modeling, building on locally fitted curves with plenty of local parameters. They try to identify some global trend in the parameters. Such procedures allow to rewrite the models and to run them with global parameters, which are much more robust than local parameters. Voilà, this is a short overview of what I've done during this six-month internship with the Sierra and UPM. Merci de votre attention. Thank you.